So yes, 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 yes. We are live. Do you hear me? We are live. It is Halloween. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did it. I said it. Hopefully everyone had an enjoyable day. Uh, today, we took our son out for our his second Halloween experience. This year he had way more fun. He's actually going up to the houses, being happy with the candy. I would say... We had a 75% success rate of him saying thank you to them. One house we went to had a, a super tall statue. I think it was like a Frankenstein type deal thing. And he was not pleased with that. We needed to hold him. Up until that point, he, he walked his whole time. But we needed to hold him for a little bit. <laughs> Today is part of Halloween to be scared, right? He ended up having a great haul. Nothing like he'd get if he's a little bit older, where he can move quicker and faster. And no issues. We had to deal with the rain and stuff. Okay. Can I sign in? Oh my lord. We might not be playing. Can't freaking sign in. Come on, Xbox Live. Let's not start having issues here. Let's not do it to us today. Come on. Mm -hmm. Might have to turn it off and back on if this is going to be the problem. Or we might have to switch up what our plan is. That might have to start practicing. Uh, what is that game called? Or not game, but the Mega Race 16. Come on, dude. This is annoying. I was going for the, I literally grabbed the mouse. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on. I grabbed the mouse to try to help myself uh, hit that button. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. You were just on, you were just on the Xbox up front. I don't understand why, what the problem would be with this one. I'm gonna rub it a little bit like it's an old school Nintendo you gotta give it a little tender loving care like come on you can do it you can do it let's read the game let's do this jeez louise all right I don't understand why do you have to reset to make technology work you need to start it over no well, we'll just do this now this will be fun, right? I keep ignoring it. Anything to prevent me from having to play the game that I need to play. Any distraction is worthwhile. I'm sure you've all been there before. But in Soul Calibur, we're at the point now where we're actually have to do some of the side missions because we're doing Libra of Souls. So you need to level up, get a little bit stronger. I'm getting very close to the point where we can... Uh, do the in-game content for uh, this is my god uh, the in-game content for Octopath Traveler meaning uh, there's a special dungeon at the very end where it has everything uh, you have to fight all the bosses that you fought throughout the game but you can't leave once you go in there so yeah I'm, uh, I just got the last secret job so we got that might level up a little bit. I just want to make sure when we do this stream, we're able to do it. Hmm. This is annoying. Why do I have to like pick a? Can I just? Oh. Um, hopefully, I can just alter it. Why can't I just have the avatar I had before? It's annoying. 
I don't have any hair. Am I actually gonna make it look like myself? Don't know. start with this one. Hopefully it gives us a lot of options to alter. Alright, appearance. there. Is my hair? Oh, this is my skin color. I thought it was hair color. Ah, uh, yeah. It doesn't look like the albino, though, that I made before. It's not pure white, it's actually a real skin color. It's lame. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. How did I get hair though? Ah. the wrong button I guess. why I'm doing this, uh, no facial hair, where's my, uh, hair on the, my, uh, eyelashes, I'm going to have to do this again. I'm not too pleased with it right now, but it's alright. What happened to all my 360 stuff that I had? Triple Topper. Uh, 
I didn't want to get this involved with making an avatar, so yeah. But whatever. Did you make your avatar triple topper? No, Sid, what are you doing here? You're gonna cry. I got one of my super meat boy and all that stuff. They better start unlocking stuff like we used to have for uh, when you did 360 achievements. Alright, I think I'm going to have to let this dog out. He's crying. It's upsetting me. What is going on here? Alright, everything's going haywire. We're done. We're going to save it for now. Come back to this later. I'll be right back. Look for original avatars. I don't. Oh. Thank you, Triple Topper.
Good stuff, Triple Topper. The original guy is back. Alright. Back to... Now it's time to get down to business. Oh, sweet. It's as if we never left. So I don't know if you were in here when we talked about how we're going to have to start doing some of this stuff. Um, why can't I just go back? No. Um, it's not, oh wait, maybe, it'll, maybe I hit it like this. Change location. So let's go. We'll go back here and do some uh, missions. Yeah, because we we're, our level is like right where uh, it's too too close, and I don't want to struggle with battles when I can just cut down on the time and level up sideways. What's up? Let's go get hype. How's it going, Happy Slapping? I had heard of a we weaponsmith named K Klitsch, said to be living in Kashgar. His might had been enough to overwhelm Drona in his younger days, so I decided to visit the desert city. It was my good fortune to already know of a weaponsmith in Kashgar. I decided to pay her a visit. Oh, sweetness. That Halloween candy. If it isn't Justina, how have you been? I found Balto selling weapons at the bazaar. If any, anyone knew about Klitsch, it would be her. When I asked her, she spoke hesitantly. She's like, you don't really want to talk to that person. Well, Klitsch is my father, but he disappeared a long time ago. Oh, well, don't worry, it doesn't bother me anymore. This was once his forge. I guess I've inherited just about everything from him. The shot, my job, my personality, pretty much everything. So I think I can give you what you're looking for. Bolta smiled at me confidently. Heh, you wanted a bout with my old man, right? I can give you a good demonstration of his skill. It was cool. Uh, it was uh, Steel's second experience of trick-or-treating, and he actually enjoyed it thoroughly, going up to the door. And he kept playing with his candy when he got home for like an hour and a half. Dumping it out, pouring it back in the bag, dumping it out, pouring it back in the bag. If you ask for candy, be like, no, steal candy. No, stop it, Daddy. Stop it, Mommy. This is my candy, not your candy. But he doesn't like to eat candy. Also, now, you're going to pretend to be like your father. I'm dodging. Always block the second, the second one. Dude, that would have been two ring outs, like back to back to back. There was actually a lot of people out tonight too in our neighborhood, but uh, it's really weird because the kids were. Uh, The kids were all out crazy with all the rain and stuff. Yeah, fruity candies are the winner. Like, even the candies that we were giving out at our house, uh, we had our uh, mother-in-law came over. She was giving out for the first hour, then we came back and finished the last hour. Everyone was taking all the fruity candies. So we had a whole bunch of Snickers left. Where you got me? Ooh, you got me. I never thought you'd be able to sneak in an attack like, in like that. Well, we beat you before. Did you think you would win? Bolta came at me with a storm of attacks that were far swifter and heavier than our demonstration earlier. I was barely able to deliver a counterattack, but Bolta seemed unshaken. I remember that Klitsch had gone missing and asked if she was worried about him. Bolta, nah. He has a habit of wandering off when he's in a bad mood. He'll probably come strolling through the door one of these days. Ha! Bolta gave a cheerful laugh and handed me something long and thin wrapped in silk. Take it. It's the last thing... The old man made. He may be a f bit fickle, but even I respect his work. By the way, if you see him, use that thing to crack his nose for me. Sweetness. 
Yeah, peanut M&Ms are good. I love chewing the chocolate shell off of them and then eating the peanuts afterwards. Thank you for the biddies, sir. I'm gonna have to get perfects more often so I can get some more biddies up in here. Oh, it gave me nunchucks, or she gave me nunchucks. I will take both of these scrubs down. The bustling streets of Kashgar were dyed by the colors of the setting sun. I opened a familiar door and ringing them, the blacksmith's hammer paused. We are see you again. Welcome, oh, it's Justina. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'm just finishing up. Let's have a drink. Sweetness, we're gonna get a drink. Let me take a sip of the drink. Go on, drink up now. I just did. Bolto's cheer seemed forced. There was something bothering her, so I asked what it was. She smiled bitterly. Rats, that's that. Rats, that obvious? The Royal Army wants to take another look at the people who make their equipment, so they're holding an exhibition. That sort of position carries a lot of honor, so I'd normally leap at the chance, but the competition is stiff. Another smith called his sheen's been making a real name for himself lately. His work isn't great, but his prices can, can't be beat. I want to go in the opposite direction. This is smithy with techniques that have been passed down for generations. The effort I put into the metal makes it something special. But my sources of good iron have dried up. There's not much time until the ex exhibition, and I was wondering uh, how I'd get my hands on some decent material. I asked if I could lend her a hand, and Balta smiled sheepishly. I knew you were a woman I could count on. I didn't want to trouble you, but here we are. Thanks for the help. So getting iron means beating people up. Uh, Steel dressed up as Spider-Man. Jessica and I didn't dress up. We were thinking about doing Spider-Man and Friends, but we just didn't have the time nor the money to waste. If we were going to like a party or something, we might have done it, but since it was just for Halloween, that's okay. Two days travel from the city was a wide, was a wide salt lake. Much of it had dried up, leaving a flat, white expanse of land. Price is right. This used to be the bottom of the sea and high quality iron accumulated here over the centuries. This land belongs to a local lord, but he's given up permission to gather sand here today. Yeah, but you didn't get permission from us, so get out of here. Your a assins thugs. <laughs> assins. Hmm. <laughs> you never give up. I guess we'll have to convince you the hard way. Oh my god, we're gonna beat this guy up. I don't know why, sir. You're giving away a PC. Let me, let me, let, I can do the legwork to tell you. How do I check my, uh, let's stop the thing for a second. Because you're moving, aren't you? How do you check PCs? No, I'm on Windows 8.1 on this computer. D X D A I G. All right, system. Windows 8.1, Enterprise 64-bit. 
6.3, build 9600, BIOS, uh, oh, processor AMD FX8350, 8-core processor, memory, RAM, 8192 megabits of RAM. Is that what you need to know? Display. Alright, there's the display tabs. GPU. I mean, how what does it say GPU? I see it sees name. It says AMD Radeon, then the manufacturer, uh, graphics processor, internal DAC. It'll be tight. Yeah, AMD Radeon TM R9 200 series. gigabytes and yeah it says well it says R9 200 series so there's a space between it so I guess that might be 9200 Yeah, my computer is old. Well, I shouldn't say old, but yeah, it was. I've had it for a while. Chris Gold built it for me. So we'll start the timers again. So yeah, if you want to make a... Before you drive back to Colorado. <laughs> oh God. I'd want to say... I'd want to say my wife... I would do it, but I don't know if my wife would approve of that. I would have to talk to her and get back to you. But just because of the kid and everything and the, our busy work schedule, especially now at the holidays, it's, it's very difficult. Why would you, you don't, I wouldn't drive all the way down here to give me a computer or up here to give me a computer. Is your computer way better than mine? Because I would pay for the shipping. Oh, we didn't start the timers. Let's say that would be the ultimate donation to Team Zofar. Shit. 
we're going with the kicks. Oh, we got him. The problem with the kick is so oh, I like that. Oh, triple topper. We, uh, Steel had a Spider-Man, and Jess and I didn't wear anything. We were thinking about doing Spider-Man and Friends. So she would be Firestar, and I'd be, uh, Iceman. $36,000. Oh my god. Can you triple top up? <laughs> Damn you, we won't forget this. <laughs> Dude, wait a second. I'm sorry guys, this this is this conversation is too epic to not share. never gonna get unlimited home internet damn you we won't forget this watch your backs like you can do anything to me you suck I beat you by myself Allout works for Asin a local mercenary captain he's of noble birth but fortunes comes and goes right murdered as she grasped her pick. Hoofman was her mind, but this was not the time to pry. Her smith dug quickly through the layer of salt, revealing black earth underneath. There we are. Yes, this is the quality I was looking for. I really owe you for this. Thanks. Bolter gave me a delighted smile. Man, we got some mead. We got some alcohol, guys. Now we're gonna start exploring, I think. Why isn't it not like picking spots? Oh, I don't have enough money to do it. Is it because it's the I'm not going to explore where I can just walk to. It's funny. Because of the mountains, it costs too much to explore, so we're kind of limited to where we're at. Triple Topper, you got too many things going on in your life right now. The Ming Empire and Europe are connected by a long, winding trade route. I followed it west, traversing scorching sands and treacherous mountain ranges. Eventually, I arrived at the great city of Simacard, a rich place where people from all over the world gather to trade goods and ideas. They say you can find anything here for a price. But even in Samarkand, some things are still hard to get young man. What's this say? I can't read this language yet. In the plaza in the center of the city, a group of people are gathered in front of a notice. Let me see. A handsome reward to those who present to me the items that embodies these words. The queen sits in a glimmering chamber, locked tight within the sturdy walls of her castle. She holds an orb most precious. 
Marco Polo, just because of what he's wearing. I like the sound of a handsome reward, but what's the rest supposed to mean? <laughs> Trick or treat for that. <laughs> and then the other, all the other kids would have to wait to get candy because he'd have to explain what he means by all that. To know. I know who's behind this though. That Western Lord, you know, the one who's always doting on his daughter. Oh yeah, I heard one time he ordered food and medicine all the way from me. Maybe he wants something from there again. I listened to the crowd chatter while mulling over solutions to the riddle. Eventually I hit upon the idea that this precious orb could be a pearl, and the castle would be a shell that protects it. A Korean weapons merchant I once met had told me about a rare food that Korean and Japan exported to Ming Empire, dried abalone. Abalone shells are extremely tough, but inside they shine like a rainbow. Dried abalone is supposed to be quite the luxury item, but I doubt cost was an issue to, to this lord. I should probably go see him if I ever find some. So I, all I did was read that and that was lame. All right, we need to change location somewhere we've been. So if we go over here, Triple Topper, you have to start your stream so you can start earning bits for better internet. Back in Yang Wang, it seemed as though life was beginning to return normal. The people were finally starting to recover from the tragedy. Who are you, huh? What are you doing? Oh, it look like a flip book. I heard voices coming from an alleyway up ahead. It sounded like trouble. A man dressed like a merchant came running out moments later. His slight form and hesitant gait made it clear he was not the source of any violence. Oh, thank goodness, a warrior. Please save me. Oh my god, why am I doing work for people? The merchant moved to cower behind me just as a masked man stepped out of the alley. I found a weapon pointed at me. Hand him over or you'll regret it. I doubt it. A real catch 22. I know. You just have to make uh, delayed streams, meaning make video, record it, pretend like people are chatting and just chat with invisible people, then upload it to YouTube. Oh, only vertical attacks hurt this guy. So guess what? We'll just hit B the whole time. Perfect. This guy's just gonna sit there and take a beating. Aw, oh, he, he attacked. Nah, I'm mad. I was trying for double perfect. Walk, dog, shovel, snow, gutter cleaning, rake, rake leaves. You gotta grind, you gotta grind. I owe you a great debt, please let me make it up to you somehow. The man introduced himself as Zihan and led me to a tea house by a waterway. My family's business is in connecting mercenaries with clients. We also have helped find people, bodyguards, and the like. To cut to the chase, we're not exactly legitimate, so we operate a front to keep our more lucrative business out of sight. And just so you know, we're called the Five Rings. We run the city, or at least we used to. Zihan sighed and sipped at his tea. And our line of work violence is only natural, right? Well, our syndicate is accustomed to dealing with it and pretty good at dishing it out, too. But recently, my father, Kong Wang, disappeared. Kong Wang? Kong Wang, a name I was familiar with. As you can probably guess by looking at me, I'm not one for fighting, so I don't command the respect that my father did. Since he went missing, my men have been deserting in droves. It seemed like Zi Hoon would never stop complaining, so I interrupted by asking about the masked man. 
Oh, he's one of the Silver Tigers. That's Lin Pei's gang. They run the town a few days journey from here. And they have a real grudge against my father. They'll take any chance they can get to cause trouble. I know they still got plenty of tricks in store for us, but I'm glad you were here to foil them today. Thanks again. Xian smiled at me. He certainly didn't act like the heir of a powerful crime family. I couldn't help but feel worried about him. I felt a connection between us, at least because of Kang Wan, and decided to check up on him again if the opportunity presented itself. Alright, give me some experience points. Right, we're earning a little bit of experience. Oh, sweet. At least we're getting items, so it's making it worth it a little bit. Now I'm gonna travel. See if I can travel at a less expensive cost now. Oh, wow. This one's calling me out. About to take this guy out. Yep. We're about to take this guy out. So Triple Topper. <clears throat> Triple Topper wants better internet. You should, you should have like a, a protest and sit outside of the internet company's Triple Topper. Demand better internet. Tell them they're holding you back from moving your stream forward. Zihan's shop was in a bustling commercial district near the harbor. I imagined that a front for a criminal organization would be tucked out of sight, but it was a large building facing a broad street. <laughs> Preventing you from curing cancer. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Justina. It's nice to see you again. Welcome. Yeah, they're holding you back from fixing the world. After we had caught up, Zihan took a letter from his coat. Would you be willing to do a job for me? I'd like you to deliver this to an old man named Ruan, who lives outside of the town. He's a former soldier who used to be our most skilled man. He's retired now, but he's smart. And with his help, I could turn the city around. Are you willing to assist me? I guess I have no choice in the matter, right? I arrived at the location Zian told me about and was surprised to find splendid, a splendid manner. It seemed Ron was a man of taste as well as ability. What's your business with me? Oh, the boy sent you. The old man's face grew dark as he read the letter. Hmm, Kong Wong went missing, did he? The boy wants me to help him run the shop and clean up town. Ron's eyes shifted to me. His kind, grandfatherly expression had been replaced by a sharp, calculating stare. In our line of work, a business is only as good as the one who runs it. People might lend you your, their strength, but unless you have the brains to use it, it'll go nowhere. I won't waste my time on someone who doesn't have what it takes, even if it is this boy. With that, the old man's smile returned. But he must have had a reason to send a stranger like you to convince me to help, right? And that reason is a good one. Perhaps I'll lend a hand, for example. Maybe you're a warrior with enough skill to entice me. Hmm. What do you think? Of course, I'll beat your ass. I'll beat it. Oh, knock you off, silly. I just came for the experience points. But you don't know nothing about that. I came for the EXP. If you ever decide to load. Come here, big dog. You think you're tough? Aw, oh, snap. Oh, he got me. Whoa. This jig is kicking. Am I allowed to ring out? Probably not, because I'm not allowed to kill these people. I can fight and punch, but I can't kill them. Because they can't survive a ring out, can they? Dude, I'd, I would have ring out, ring out this sucker so much already. Taste the rainbow, triple topper. I guess he doesn't like being thrown. You see how much damage he took from a throw? Oh, wow, what is that move? Taste the rainbow. I guess I'm gonna throw you again. Because obviously throws are very effective. I'm gonna do is throw you. Taste the rainbow, triple topper. I 
I mean, even my super doesn't do any damage. I guess I should read. It literally tells you. I need to the nuts. I need to the nuts. I need to the nuts. We'll throw you. So close. Everything's a Z in this stream. Everything is a Z. Z U Z me. Z Z Z. We won. Oh, I must admit, I did you a disservice by underestimating you. You've proven yourself to me. I have to trust in the boy's intuition. He has my help, at least for a time. Ryan sank deep into thought. Let's start off by visiting a few notable citizens to collect funds. After that, we'll see who remains in the organization and get them properly trained. Of course, the boy will have to work on his image, too, in order to keep Lin Pei's gang on his toes. I was certain I would soon be hearing from, hearing more of Zeehan's complaints. Oh man, we're close to leveling up again. Dang, Wang, all oh, the city leveled up. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna take care of this other mission here. Oh god, this guy isn't even close to... Even, he's level 13. This is like a waste of my time. But since we're here, we might as well do it, right? You like my uh, question mark box? Uh, note? Sticky notes? But it's not really sticky, because once you rip it off, it doesn't stick. Oh, what is this guy? What? Oh, this is a Taki wannabe. Sorry. Whoa! What the? What's it going on here? Look how far he starts back. This isn't... Oh, this is ass, ass, ass well. I'm like, I don't know what this guy is. I'm like, what is... Taki doesn't ride a shuriken. Alright, this guy sucks balls. I was trying to do a move. That's why he's beating me. There's like a way to like downward thrust her sword and just do a continuation of like <laughs> Yep, I'm expecting a one-up We just level up players Oh man. Wow, this is gonna cost some money, but at least we can take care of two places. In Japan, right? thousand points in what? I was about to say, I'm lucky that uh, there's no ring outs. What the f? Get the hell out of here. But I would have ringed them out before anyway, so I'm okay. The game of love? 
<laughs> what constitutes points in the game of love? Look at all this food we're getting. Oh, we were fighting someone along the way. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. We're about to murk this guy. I saw a crowd gather around a town bulletin. I asked what the commotion was about and was told that Shimazu clan, the rulers of Setsuma province, were looking for warriors who could display their prowess in a private tournament. You look pretty tough. Anyone's welcome to join. Go on and give it a shot. It won't cost you anything. Wanting to test myself, I signed up and was immediately assigned my first match. I made my way to the specific, specified arena. Thank God, we're about to destroy this guy. Yeah, well, we need to figure out what the point scale is. Getting married is points. Having a kid is points. Maybe getting a, prom a promotion is worth points. Snuggling might be worth points. And can you lose points? Hmm? Oh, I figured out how to do that. When you get in an argument, you lose points. If you get sick, do you lose points? Yeah, character customization in this game is amazing. I have to slap you. You could spend hours on end making characters. That was the easiest hundred experience points I ever got. Round two must be at that place. Oh, never mind, it's here. I thought I won my first bot, but another opponent was sent to face me. Bring it on. Whoa, you really won. Way to go. Alright then, I'm sharing for you from here on. Turning away from my soul fan to concentrate on my opponent. I assume the ready stands. Yeah, I know what your card said. I'm just trying to say what constitutes the points. We need, we need to figure out a point scale here to see if I can make it to 10k. I was watching uh, Thanos vs. Spider-Man on t uh, YouTube. Dude, she is bombarding me. it there instead of having to travel with them. Like I said, if you want to send it my way. Oh shit. I'm more than game. That'll help my stream considerably. We did it guys. We won round two. Patience is a Virtua. That's a Virtua Fighter ad. <laughs> the round three. Oh man, they're leveling up. We, eventually they're going to get to a level where we can't compete, so we're going to have to come back to this area. Hopefully not. I made it through a second match and the third opponent was calling to fight me. The number of spectators was growing. The person I was up against also had the skill to make it this far. I would have to stay focused and aware. We bowed to each other and readied our weapons.
Hey, whatever. <laughs> if it's better than my computer, I'll. T Beggars can't be choosers. Baby, Asteroth. Got to knock you up against the wall. Nut shot. Nut shot. Got you. Thank you for the bit, Triple Topo. I love how Triple Topo always has a reason for every bit. At least you know he's paying attention to the stream. Well, you never know. The direction things are going. The game pass and everything on the PC. But whatever. Whatever is whatever. I oh, meant we're at the semifinals. Oh snap, this dude is level twenty. I fought my way into the semifinal spectators thronged, thronged, thronged the arena, cheering for their favorite fighters. Am I your favorite fighter? I've been rooting for Justina from the start. Heck, I'm the one who told her to join the tournament. Look at this dude. He's taking, he's taking all the props. Like I, like he, he's the one that made me get this far. Thank you, Triple Topper. Triple Topper is a fan. It seemed I had attracted no small number of admirers with their shouts to spur me on. I, I readied myself. Triple Choppa! <laughs> We're winning this tournament in Japan. Yeah. I, I, I'm assuming almost any computer is going to be an upgrade from uh, what something that Chris Gold made, right? Oh, nut shot. Oh, Cervantes fighting style. I don't like Cervantes. Him and uh, Nightmare were always my struggles in the old game. Damn it. Got you. Got him. Your cool costume doesn't help you fight better. What's up, random dude? How's it going? Yeah, Voldo. See, Voldo's... I guess I'm okay with Voldo because I actually started using him. But he is still very awkward and ridiculous. I guess again, you would struggle against anybody that knew what they were doing with the character. But it's just not... For... When I used like I used to use cast, the freaking reach of nightmare was so frustrating. And then if he if he keeps you on your toes, if he doesn't stop moving and he locks you up, you're like uh uh uh. Your soul surges in your body. We leveled up, guys. That was a big win. So there's two different level ups. There's style and then there's player points. I wonder what style will do for us. The final bout. Can we do it? Oh, level 28. Guess what we need. We need to get some food in here.
We're about to get health recovery every 1.5 seconds, because we know how this is. Look at my one fan triple topper! I actually, uh, my first tournament in Soul Calibur, my first loss was to uh, a Volvo player. And I had never, this was before I like used all the characters, I only had a couple characters up my sleeves. So I lost just because I had no idea what to expect from Volvo. I'm like, who's using this scrub? And this dude used him, he was all over me. I was like, oh shoot. And that, that taught me that it's very important to know all the characters, at least a, a little bit. A group of important looking samurai, Shimazu clan retainers, sat on a row of stools by the arena, waiting for the match to begin. Oh man, it's big wigs. The big dogs are watching now. It was time for the final fight of the tournament. I had come this far. I took on fighting stance, determined to win. Can we do it, guys? Can we take down the final? The, our final opponent? This destination ended up being well worth it because we, we got a lot of experience points and we didn't have to bounce from place to place. We were able to just take care of all of it in one. One fell swoop. I don't like his sword. It's glowing. Oh, we lost one meter bar. And he blocked us. Oh, no, he didn't. Sweet. I caught him, actually. Alright, we're equal now. And he caught me. Damn. This is a real battle, guys. I need to focus. Wow. Oh, nice slide. Wow. I was trying to chill back and gain my health back, but... Now, now he took my clothes off. How dare he. Now I'm pissed. He took off my clothes. F this dude. Damn it! Please tell me I caught him. Got him. At level 28, man. If he hits you, though, you're, you're hurting. Oh man, oh man. First time I've been nervous in a minute. Take that, sucker. That was a dumb move by me. Gosh, Jamal, I fell for it again. Come on, dude. He can really... Dude. I was nervous for a second. I'm like, what are you doing? He was deflecting all of my attacks. I think I got him with that third strike that stopped his... uh reversal or whatever that the red thing is called. I need to learn these mechanics for this game real quick. You did it, Justina. I always knew I had a good eye for fighters. Dude, you didn't know. Shh, Jack. The judge called the fight and the crowd roared. I was a victor. The victor! Wasn't that your name at uh, Laser Quest Triple Topper was the victor? The samurai seated near the center of the group stood and walked over to me. That was a marvelous display of skill. The Lord wishes to hire you. If you are not bound to another, what say you? I declined, saying that I was on a personal mission. The old samurai sighed and handed me a heavy sack of coins as a reward. Was someone like you with us? Alas, send word if you have a change of heart. The gates of Shimizu clan remain open to you. He should have been like, you're not allowed to leave this city if you're not going to serve us. 
it made me fight like a hundred people in a row. Oh, well, that definitely paid for our trip. So now we just have one more destination on this journey. Yes. So cold outside. It's actually not too bad over here. I was concerned that it was going to be freezing because of uh, Halloween, but it wasn't bad at all. It was just raining, which sucked. It just, my wife is cold-blooded, so uh, it's always like heat, heat, heat. So I have to deal with it. Um. So the, my opponent gets stronger as my health depletes. But guess what? I'm not going to let my health deplete, right? And we won. Close the streets. Close the streets. No snow, no snow, no snow. Oh man, how many people are fighting me? We don't want any snow up in here. See, it's funny when a place like in Virginia, when it snows, they shut everything down. But like in Ohio, we live with it and we're used to it. Alright, so now we're winning. I feel like we leveled up a, a decent amount, so now we can continue our journey. Alright, Triple Topper, thanks for coming in. A big team so far! You have a great night, Triple Topper, and we'll see you. And thank you for the biddies tonight. The castle's owner gave me some d dried abalone. I need to hurry and deliver it to Simicairn. Oh, so now I gotta go all the way to whatever that place is. Ugh. That's gone. Oh, wow. Actually, I'm gonna end the expedition. Alright, so we're going to change up to... We're going backwards, that's alright. We'll go here. We can deliver this stuff that we got, and then we'll go to the next mission. About half a day's journey along the trade route of Simarkand. I arrived at the Lord's Manor. I got the abalone for you. Oh, so you're the one who solved my riddle. I hear you have some dried abalone for me. Wonderful work, most excellent. I, assume, I had assumed a lord as wealthy and powerful as he would be haughty and arrogant, but to my surprise, he was both cheerful and friendly. When I last issued a request for a rare item, I was beset by swarms of fools and swindlers who brought me fakes and forgeries, so this time I thought I would couch my request in the form of a riddle. That way, only those sharp of wit and discerning of eye would answer the call. Thank you for bringing me the object of my desire. Oh, how I wish I could introduce you to my daughter, but alas, she has not been well of late to forgive me. You worry too much about me, father. What the devil are you doing out of bed? Get back in bed! The Lord had no reason to be worried. His daughter was pale and weak, and her legs shook as she clung to the wall for support. You must allow me to thank the one who worked so hard on my behalf, madam. I am most grateful to you. As you can see, my constitution is weak, and I often struggle merely to rise from my bed. Father worries about me and often seeks out rare remedies and med medicinal foods in the hopes of finding a cure. She gave me a faint smile. <laughs> <laughs> so this is dried abalone. I confess, I've never even seen it before. I wonder how one should best prepare it. My daughter rarely listens to me and always cooks her own meals. I tell her she needs to rest. But does she listen? <laughs> so much effort went into acquiring this. If I refused to prepare it myself, it would be rude to both food, both the food and the one who brought it. No, woman, I don't care who prepares it. Just give me my money. And besides, 
I want to do as many things as I can while I still live. She invited me to join her for dinner, but when I learned that dried abalone took days to prepare, I politely declined. With great regret, I waved goodbye and set off. It was like, I ain't waiting for days to eat with you, woman. She, She's like going to prepare the food and she's going to die before the food is done. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. I shouldn't say that stuff, but it's, it's funny. Not long after I received a thank you letter from the Lord's daughter. She wrote pages of flowery prose that described how the chewy texture rich flavor of the dried abalone had delighted her senses. She spoke at length of how it had ignited in her a passion for the distant sea, which she had never laid eyes upon. I got zero experience, but I got a thousand dollars, so I guess we'll take it, right? Okay, so we're just gonna go to the next place now. Your face is streaming! He's getting arrested for uh, overage trick-or-treating right now. I'm pretty sure that's what his stream is. If you guys uh, watch a mixer, you should, follow, you should be following your face and uh, watching his streams. He is a, he's a bit more consistent with streaming than I am, but I try my best. I really do. It's a warning. Oh, level 25, we can handle that. I found myself unable to sleep that night, so I decided to take a walk. A short distance from camp, I sensed someone hiding in the darkness of the forest. I tensed, expecting an enemy, but it was the woman who had helped us earlier that emerged from the shadows. Now, I'm with, this is the main story, and I'm with Gro right now and his group of assail, assailants. Oh, it's Taki, yeah. I sense the inhuman power within you. I saw you absorb that evil vortex. I conclude that you are no, more, no normal warrior. She had witnessed me taking care of the astral fissure. I knew I needed to tread carefully here. I will not ask you to tell me of your power. Your blade will show me the truth of you. Oh my god, why do I have to fight Taki? Of course. Oh, you're going to sleep? Well, thanks for stopping in, Happy Slappy. You have a great night. Oh, you're saying goodbye to Triple Topper. Yeah, you missed him. Sorry, Taki. Got you. Damn, she's sidestepping. She's making eight way run for real. Do you feel my blade, Taki? Yeah, Topper left. It's early though. He must be tired. He must have had a long day today or something. Normally, he hangs into like one. But you know what? It's probably because I start start streaming later, so he just at least stays for an hour every time. He's probably happy I started streaming earlier today. Oh man. I can't wait till I get my parrying down. Bulls is gonna. Now I'm screwing around trying to parry when I should just. And why did I do that? Oh my god, I let her work me. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Alright. Just fell short. I gotta just frame it. Oh wow, all you have to do is block standing up on that. Well, you're dead. I don't care, because you're dead. Taki! 
Oh man, I slashed her clothes off. I did it. I made her naked. Interesting. Those who stain their hearts with darkness deserve only death, but I may have been rash in my judgment of you. Still, that doesn't mean you are safe. Listen well, the moment evil consumes you, you have become my prey. Don't forget that. Don't forget I just beat you. How are you going to beat me? She glanced at the force behind her and delivered this warning to the man hiding over there. His left arm is like a thundercloud, ready to strike lightning. With that, she disappeared back into the darkness. Moments later, Gro stepped into view. Quite the pesky mosquito we have our have on our backs. I'm gonna ask him how long from the start I knew she was watching you. Fear not, should the evil consume you, I shall kill you quicker than she. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's reassuring. I told him that wasn't exactly reassuring. Oh, that's funny. Suddenly I realized I hadn't thanked Gro for saving me from the Malfested earlier. I quickly did so. You need not thank me. I chose my actions. Time to head back. We rise early tomorrow. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Oh man. Level up! Level up! Give me those points. Those health points. We're like level 24. We gotta be coming close to getting new weapons. Of course. We'll do the side mission. Oh no. Uh. Oh crap. Of course. I awoke next morning to the sound of Gro's voice. He's level 33. Grab your weapon and follow me now. I hurriedly jumped up and followed Gro as he stalked off. This area should be fine. Draw your weapon. Startled by his sudden request, I asked him what he intended to do. Gro let out a sigh. I suppose I should explain. I have no intention of harming you. I only wish to test you. Given that we still suspect you to be an outsider, it is likely that one day I will be ordered to eliminate you. Several conditions must be met if you are ever to be cleared of that suspicion. As part of that, I am tasked with performing regular observations of you in astral fissures. In other words, I will fight you now to gauge how strong you are and then report my findings to the organization. It should go without saying that in order for me to get an accurate reading, you will need to fight me at full power. The surrounding air suddenly grew tense. Gro was giving off the same power he had shown before. I began to doubt his commitment to not putting me in harm's way. I will go easy on you. Come at me. I wonder if his hair is going to be that same color. Or if he's going to be cheating and lying. Okay, I can't do anything if you keep doing that. Well, I guess I shouldn't be playing around on my computer when I'm trying to fight a dude that's level 33. Did he block this too? I caught him. Nice. Dude, what is this guy? Wow. Is it gonna make me... Hopefully it's one of those missions. Oh, of course. We'll try one more time. Uh, there's no way I'm going to beat a level 33 guy, though. Why did I decide to do a side mission? We'll try to rematch him. Uh. 
He's nine levels higher than me. So I would need perfection. And I'm not used to fighting Gro either. Because he's a new character, so... He's gonna sidestep it. Hurting feelings, yeah. There's no way I'm beating him, so we're going to uh, switch this to five attempts already. Uh, we're going to abandon this mission. It's okay. I'm okay with that. We'll do the, mi the, the main story mission. Information gathering. Sir, the next astral fissure is located in the Feigl Sestimus Temple. Feigl Sestimus from the Wadbro and the others have to had told me they were a mad cult who worshipped the nefarious god called Palge. They were both cruel and brutal and delighted in human sacrifice. If we charge them blindly, I predict we will encounter heavy resistance. Additionally, their temple is a veritable labyrinth. It will take time to locate the Astral Fissure once we are inside. What do you suggest we do, sir? Simple. We take a coldest hostage and get the information we need from them. Sir. According to Dion and Natalie's information, there were three coldest nearby. The first was a high priest living in the village up ahead. The second was a swordsman who once worked for the cult as a mercenary. The third was a merchant who transported goods for the cult. The high priest was known to be a talented martial artist and had an elite bodyguard in the hand. The swordsman was alone, but a warrior of, of great repute. The merchant had scores of guards, but none were particularly noteworthy, which would likely provide us with a different type of information. <laughs> Do you think this is like level 30? We're going this way. We're going for the big dog. We can take two people out at the same level. We just can't fight them if they're level 33. Heard that filthy rats were sniffing about our glorious temple. And you certainly look like rats to me. And guess what? Those rats are about to eat the cheese. And you're the cheese. Ha! <laughs> I know that was lame. But that's okay, right? Up oh, another Cervantes. Dude, why was it not paced the correct way? Yeah, it's easy mode. It's just grow. He's a beast, man. We'll have to remember to come back when we're, we need some experience points when we're like close to level 30. And we have a, oh shoot, here's Asalamel. Nice. 
my delight. This dude is like, he's playing somewhat smart in the sense that he's not committing. That was nice. He's got me whacked up against the wall for that wall damage. And then we caught him. Better than fighting Gargamel. We were able to obtain a sketched map of the grounds, complete with guard positions and the exact location of the astral fissure. We could not have done any better. We can use this information to formulate a plan. Sir. Oh wow, they gave us a lot of uh, style points. I got some cur cursed cult oil. Storming the temple. Let's go. Our efforts helped us ascertain the location of the Astral Fissure in the Fugol Systemus Temple. Our plan is complete. Dion and Natalie slip in and cause a commotion. We will infiltrate the premises while they are distracted. Sir. We hit them tomorrow. Do not expect an easy ride. Prepare well. Sir. We need to get, like, food or something. I think we can handle two guys, right? That way, over there, now. What's going on here? Who dares desecrate our temple? The gallery's on fire. Someone put it out quickly. Someone, anyone, report. What's happening? Intruders! They're wreaking havoc! The fiends vanquish them, gouge out their eyes. That this is far too much chaos that have been caused by Dion and Natalie alone. Could he have gotten here before us? Oh no, Aswell's here. The actual fisher should be just ahead, but. Wait, hide quickly. Do you see what I see? How dare you trespass in our sacred temple? You shall not leave here alive. Our God shall feast on your souls. Kill them. Kill them all. Ah, Garha, kill me. You can't even scratch me with the new power given to me by Lord Aswell. It is I who will feast on your souls. You lot make a sweep of the surrounding area. See that no more worms crawl in. You got it. I knew it. We have to act now, attack. Oh man, we gotta fight a Raphael player. We leaped out from the shadows, attracting the attention of Daniel and Voltra. Oh, I see you are unable to resist my beauty. Tell me, girl, why do you pursue Lord Aswell so doggedly? Because you were ordered to? Or to avenge Orzel and Curtis? Such a grotesque attitude, truly vile. I have no desire to converse with traitors. Stand aside, Daniel. The cultists are dead. These pigs are next. This is gonna be easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Let's go get hype! Dang it, dude. I screwed that up really bad.
Alright. Bring it, sucker. I gotta... I gotta take two guys on. Wow, just... Dude, like, I'm, like, out of reach. Just barely. Like, just this thin, some of my hits, that's not good. Right, here we go, Raphael. Wait, is he? Maybe he's Zhang Zhua. Yep, that's what he is. Stop running around, you buffoon. Blocking me? Nope. Team so far. We're about to get that fissure. Is he about to get down and dirty? Such beauty, such an un unsurpassable allure. We cannot scorn this one, I think. Stand down, Voltro. I'm not done here yet. But the, lo the power Lord Aswell bestowed upon me. These maggots are dust. Gwaha! Remember the plan, only the ugly know not when to restrain themselves. Shut your mouth. I. Uh, the power swallows his mind. Hmm. I'm left with no other choice. Daniel disappeared, leaving his companion behind. Voltro swung his weapon wildly around himself, his breathing ragged and his eyes filled with a mad bloodlust. There was no indication he was going to tire any time soon. Leave this to me. You go on ahead and deal with the astral fissure. You think you can just leave? What are you going to do to stop me, Playa? Your fight is with me. As a Voltron and Girl clash, I ran for the Astral Fissure, the sounds of battle echoing behind me. Oh man, I'm not leveling up. The ultimate seed. Oh shit, he's level 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop now. I'm going to I'm going to play online for a little bit now. Before we call it quits. So when we play the game on PS4, we're going to play the Soul Chronicles. All right, so let's go to network. Ranked match. <sighs> let's go. Let's play some matches online before we go to sleep. We're connected to that opponent. We're probably going to get our butts kicked, though, because the game has been out for over almost two weeks now, and haven't played very much.
we'll see though. Need me to win some Evo? Yeah, I'm gonna need to, a lot of practice. Say he sucks. Probably isn't familiar with Sophia. I wonder how it bounced like that. Just the endless stream of attacks is not easy to deal with. thing around me was I was thinking the, his power bar was my power ball. Trouble Tower is experiencing lag. That's funny. He didn't want to rematch. <laughs> He's like forget that. I don't want to play that guy again. He's too good. Yeah, we're gonna very soon. We're gonna have a Octopath in-game stream. I finally got the uh, final secondary job. The, out of the four seeker jobs, I got it. Oh, here we go. Nightmare. my best. I hate that stupid red uh, thing that he does. Five hundred a second of wins. <laughs> if I do that, dude, that would be insane. And it's not starting now. Out of the ring. I'll take that, right? Out of the ring. <laughs> Do you want to keep doing the same? Let's see if he does the same thing again. And he's gonna like put himself back against the the ring out. Oh, he's not happy about that. All right, I know what he does every time. I thought I had him. 
He seemed like he was always attacking. Alright, he's done though. He sucks. That attack is bullshit. How does he keep doing that? Dude, that is so shady. That stupid red attack, I don't know how they do that. Was his armor red before he was able to do that? So frustrating. Is he gonna rematch with me or is he gonna run? I trained them the I trained them already. I'm training them. I'm training them. Oh. <laughs> oh, he got me. Nice. out of the ring sucker you want to come full blow we're throwing you out baby I know what you're doing taste the rainbow Got him. <laughs> this dude's not too happy with me. He starts off every like every battle he comes with that stupid double sword slash. Does he really want to lose again? Exactly. <laughs> he knows I figured him out. He can't deal with my mix-ups. If he played Nightmare the right way, he'd be really he could he could screw me up really badly. We gotta go against. Oh, Haswell. God. Uh, this is gonna be a struggle for me because I've only fought him like once. Once or twice. So I don't really know what he can do. My best course of action here is just to go on the offensive. If I block, I don't know when it's safe to attack. That's the problem.
That sucks. Uh, I wonder who got the win. Yeah, that was super lame. Hopefully there's not a way to glitch wins by dropping out of matches. That would be stupid. Well, at least we're streaming, so if they try to blame me, I have video evidence that there's no shenanigans on our part. I hope it's another nightmare. How many matches I would have to fight? Oh, that's a very interesting thing. I, I would almost think that would be more so... I would need to know every character and no matchups with those characters as opposed to matches to play. Because it, being able to guard crush and stuff like that, if I know what your character can do, I can handle almost any situation with any character. But I need to know each character. And if I don't if I don't know the characters I'm in trouble though. Alright, I know what you're doing. Damn it! That fucking piece of shit. I hate that move. But it's when his armor is ready, he can do it, I think. Victory goes to the last one standing. Battle fight. Nice. Did I... Oh. Alright. Really? What is going on here? Of course. What is that move? That's bullshit. And I was not jumping. I literally was sidestepping him. Hundred matches sounds like really good, but then I would have to play different players, meaning I'd have to I couldn't play the same person using Nightmare a hundred times, I'd have to play a variety of styles because each person plays differently. So if I adapt to one person's style, then that's not really me feeling confident. Dude, this, that is so annoying. Seriously. That is fucking annoying. Like, how does he get that move? Literally, it breaks up everything. Fight. 
gonna stand there, I'm gonna throw you then. Piece of shit. You can't hit me with that, idiot. Really? Oh, this guy's frustrating me. Oh my god, he got me. And this super is annoying. What you gotta say now, player? What you gotta say now, Saka? <laughs> you can't do nothing with your red balls when you're on your back, mother. <laughs> Suck on that, nigga. We done. We we backing out of that. I know there were some close rounds, but. Literally, that, that just, the familiarity with each character is so key and so critical to uh, figuring this game out. Because I don't know the mechanics behind that red thing, and I have to figure it out so I can avoid it. But it doesn't bode well when I'm nervous going into a match going against a nightmare. I guess I should have just stayed in that and saw the rubber match and beat him. Here we go. Siegfried, another guy. Oh wow, this guy is a G1. Three game win streak. These long swords are frustrating. I have to collect all my thoughts here. Believe in your power and reach for victory. I want to save you. Just leave me alone already. Battle one. Fight. Gotta keep this guy. Goes to the last one Can't let him gain his composure. Oh, nice. You really want to go out of the ring? You really want to go out the ring? Oh, nice. And of course I ducked. 
damn it. I should have blocked. That guy might be sleeping. <laughs> That's funny. He proved you wrong there, though. And we're about to perfect this nigga. Oh, close. We, per we beat him and we knocked his ass out the ring. Yeah, injury and insult. Oh. No, oh, that's not good. Woo! That was some serious health depletion there. Oh, great. Victory will not come easily. He's gonna keep going low. Suck on this nigga. It's just one of it's Soul Calibur is just one of those games that goes like Even greater glory awaits you ahead. You just It's like a streak. Like you're in the zone or you're not. And what you decide to do works and what you decide to do doesn't work. Let your desire for victory take you beyond your limits. gonna do I mean because he was resorting to that low game Wow and he broke my armor I'm in trouble Dude, what is that move? Dude, that move is brutal. I was there. Damn it, that reach is brutal. You want to try to jump? You wanna try to jump over my stuff? You wanna play games? I'll mix it up too! I'll mix it up! Over the head. We know what you're doing. You did it to me three times in a row. I'm blocking. Got you. Dead. 
I know that series, baby. Mid, mid, low. Boom. Block down. I mean, it's just he threw a couple moves in there that I just haven't seen. They're obviously newer moves. Where he comes in and then he has that overhead smash. So we'll just play till we lose this winning streak and then we'll be done. Unless I win too many in a row, then we'll stop. Challenge your limits. Kichi, Mr. Ruby. Mr. Ruby. So far, never lose. the rainbow. Nice. I do want to keep doing the same lame thing. Got him. He was just out of reach. Just like Happy said, we can't afford to lose up in here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got a little streak going. <laughs> He's gonna. I hate this guy because he pulls you in like with his attacks. Even if you block, he pulls you closer in. And he's got a lot of like attacks that continue, and they do multiple hits. I'm not familiar with him very well either. Let your desire for victory Most of the new characters I've never even touched in the older ones. Go. Yep. 
pulling in and pulling out. Get out of the ring, baby. So I need to keep going in. Nice. Dang it. Ain't gonna lie, when my back was against the water, I was nervous about going in. that reach. Hope they can't swim. <laughs> That's funny. I thought, when I first saw you say that, I thought you said, I hope they can't win. What is this? That must be his ultimate. That's pretty awesome. Started getting a little bit laggy there. The goddess of victory smiles upon the strong spirit. I don't like those little uh, things he's putting around me. I guess he wants a rematch. Give me a little bit more practice against the Ocelomel. Argamel's evil cousin. And that was stupid by me. for he doesn't know what to do with himself I'm just too much for him too much too much all these mix-ups Can you keep doing the same thing or you can evolve? You're gonna evolve? No. Blessings for those who have repeatedly escaped the clutches of death. I saw through him. I downloaded everything that dude was doing. He didn't show me anything new. I feel like I'm getting a little bit into the zone. Got off of that playing the CPU and now I'm playing a human. When you're playing a computer, you're kind of just doing the same stuff, and now when I'm playing a human, I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. 
Challenge your limits. Cervantes, here we go. Here's my first. It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Disappearing bullet shots. All sorts of different crap that Cervantes can do. There's no ring out to save me though. So I have to come in. Taste the rainbow. ranked up. Nice. We're G1s now, guys. We're G1s. We're moving on up. Moving on up. Let your desire for victory wow, this is an awesome background. No ring outs. Of course, this guy's gonna play differently, right? Damn it, I should have stayed away. Wow, I thought after that boom boom he was gonna come low. Dude, that's unbelievable reach.
Believe me, I was scared. I don't know what he's even doing. He's gonna rematch me and he's just gonna destroy me now. He's like, I was just playing with you. Making you think you were good, but you ain't nobody. Jay Bird's about to step it up. But the thing is, I saw. I think I have this guy figured out. I just see some of the moves that he's doing. Got him. Can get close once I get in close. Yeah, I know he's not happy. But once I get in close, there's nothing that they can do. Well, there is stuff they can do. He doesn't do that red ball that the other nightmare is doing. Nightmare all night error day. Well, this one's got a win streak going on, so. Is he gonna stop me from getting 10 straight? Or am I gonna put an end to his streak right before he gets five in a row? Seeing is believing, right? Let your desire for victory take you beyond your limits. Same stage, wow. What's he gonna do first? Oh, of course. Guard crush him. That was my only chance there. Huh? 
And that was a disastrous move by me. Did I catch him? No. Dude. I tried to throw him. And he caught me, didn't he? Dude, I swear. Oh, shit. Do I do first? I'm coming in down low quick. Damn it. And I. You do. The battle is over. Show respect for the father you fought so hard. Huh. Hope he stopped me. I'm gonna end the battle. We did say we were going to end. I should have played him again, but it's okay. We got nine tonight. Nine in a row. Which was not bad. Yeah, he was definitely better than the other guys. I just, that stage, I wish there was ring outs. Because I could have changed my stuff up. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a close battle. But uh, thank you for stopping in. Let's go get hype. Uh, Triple Topper, anyone else that came in, random dude, everyone else. Uh, Triple Topper, thank you for the biddies. Uh, as always, a big team so far. We love you guys. Thanks for showing the support. We're going to continue to stream when we can. I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, we'll definitely be back for some more Soul Calibur. Uh, big team so far. We'll be doing a lot of Soul Calibur from now until next year. Well, well, we'll be getting the Genesis going again, and then we'll have our Mega 16 race starting here. Practice. We got to start really quickly because we don't want to be as bad as we were last time. But yeah, it's time uh, to get some sleep. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of level grinding in Octopath Traveler, and then fall asleep in bed. And I got to work and open and close tomorrow, so yeah, that's gonna be fun, right? All right, happy slappy. Good night, sir. Thank you for stopping in. Peace.